Yo, yo, what up, gamers? Let's run some Roguelands with Sal today. I've been meaning to play some more Salvador because he feels kind of busted, busted, broken, broken. And I watched one third of a two and a half hour Salvador guide. Now, he's been my most consistent character. Wow, that's a big old Pushka. Um, something that I learned that's, that's new for me personally is uh, there's two skills in this skill tree. That worked together that I didn't know did. Keep it piping hot. While gun circling is in the process of cooling down, you gain bonus gun damage, melee damage, and grenade damage. So I thought, okay, well, this isn't that useful because I'm going to be trying to be with this, with my typical gun zerk setup. I want to have be gun zerking all the time. So, like, it's not really that useful. However, if you combine it with get some, shooting an enemy decreases your gun zerk cooldown. That means that when you're gun zerking and you shoot an enemy, you get this bonus while guns are which is pretty lit so I'm, i was underrating that skill a lot so i'm definitely gonna be taking them now uh, if i have the points that bandit shotgun only consumes one ammo per shot which means it could be good for just consistent slagging um which is nice uh, also something that i learned is that your offhand doesn't get a lot of the bonuses that your primary hand does which is a little bit of you know a little bit of a letdown i mean i'm not gonna let it you know get me down or anything like that but let's go fill the room first five points but i just got to be careful about which gun goes in the right hand and which are these both corrosive that's a sad day sad day to be alive i just gotta be careful about which gun goes in the primary hand and which gun goes in the offhand i definitely want to have my higher damage weapons in the the primary hand that being the right hand in order to make most use out of my skills i was hoping to get a robot area that way i could Rock these corrosive damage to better effect, but that's fine. We can just rock a Hyperion. Um, a shock SMG. It's not going to be terrible, terrible. All right, let's go. Get, let's try to get some kills. Get slagged, homie. The Gallant Spider Rants take a lot of bullets to kill, so I'm not going to, you know, or try to work too hard to get them. I'm getting shocked up. Someone's shocking me up pretty bad right now. It might be, it might be myself with the deflect damage. I'm not too sure. This bandit shotgun did... Was it firing the entire time without ever reloading? Come on, get, land those crits. Hyperion weapons also feel kind of nice on sale. You know what? Let's just... I'm so over the Gallon Spider Rents. Just taking three and a half years to kill. So let's just rinse some of the... The Vladoff Rock Launcher. That actually felt really good to fire. Okay. And getting a cooldown rate... Blast mod off rip is... Pretty nice. I don't I don't look back here enough for things. Because there's so many there's so many secrets in this map. There's a there's a pressure pad somewhere, I'm sure, but I just don't know where it is. Just looking around. It's usually something you have to search like pretty significantly for to find. I know where the borderland symbol is for the the relics. Mm, a fire spike shield's probably better. Most of the enemies that are going to be meleeing you in this game are going to be flesh enemies. Psychos, spider ants, skags, all of those. Oh, let's go. Now we got a fire weapon. Now we can burn these gallery spider ants down much, much quicker. Go down, homie. Oh, yeah. And my mag size is ridiculous. Look at look how big that mag size is. Good stuff. Yeah, my, my shotgun. This might be my first reload. Nope, still no, still no reload. Let's let's grab this so we can farm up the stage a little bit faster. Jump up here, grab grab whatever this dropped. And max health and oh, cooldown rate's nice. I'm gonna try to speed run the stage a little bit. Faster, faster, faster. That way we can just keep it moving and grooving. I don't think I'm gonna need the. Ooh, that's a bandit pistol for slagging. Hmm. It's got higher damage and faster fire rates, and the magazine size isn't that bad. A bandit pistol is good too. We can rock double pistols for I'm your Huckleberry shenanigans. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go last longer. That way our guns are can you know last longer. Seems to be the the, the go to method for me to be doing more deeps. Very nice. I definitely want to have that slag going. Let's see. And other than like say a an orphan maker, you're 
you're really going to want to be utilizing your, your high damage weapon in your right hand because it gets way more bonuses than your left hand from your skills and stuff like that. As a general rule is what I found. Let's do a, a fire bouncing Betty. I should do some good damage here. That, that magazine sticking out is hilarious. Okay, who's over here? Uh, let's swap weapons. Just blow them up with that stuff. Swap back. Oh, a loot nomad arsonist. Let's blow them up again. Come on. Go down, homie. Go. What you drop me? A pitchfork. I like the pitchfork a lot. I think it's really, really strong. Go down. There we go. For some reason my weapons got swapped up there, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, that stage is usually pretty simple. I mean, it's only 10 out of 10 enemies, and they all spawn right in the very beginning. So, kind of chill. Let's take more points into... I think steady as she goes is good. We just got to be careful about using it with Hyperion weapons. Let's go steady as she goes and more cooldown reduction on our on our action skill so we can have it up all the time especially for bosses it's gonna be useful okay keep it moving there's a pressure plate over here and i'm, I'm down to rocking all different kinds of weapons so stalker nothing here is calling my name and mucka muck's pretty good we'll take it Got really, really high damage with a 3.1 second fire rate, which means basically just semi-automatic. Mm. The money shot is nice. Auspicious Raider. Yeah, plus six into money shot. Is a nice bonus. Ooh, Legendary Berserker class mod. Here we go. Now we're talking. What you give me? Max ammo. Mmm... Don't really need it. However, it does have a saw. No, I, Axon's good at, at maintaining ammo. I don't think I, I will need a max ammo increase. Anything good for me? No, I don't think I need anything there. All right, let's go. Hyperion weapons again. They, they Since they have reverse recoil, that, that skill that gives me less recoils functions a little bit awkwardly go everything gets slagged good stuff i'm taking a lot of damage here for sure hopefully i can not die all right let's get to my launcher it's only got three shots left in it oh thank god for uh flat off launcher shenanigans right there but i'm that's what i'm really looking for more than anything is Um, a gun that can go in my offhand that can slag and heal. So that's going to be a ruby. That's going to be a grog nozzle. Once you get one of those, your options for the for your primary hand are just through the roof. Let's see singularity. No thanks. We're going to be using our our guns are primarily as my defensive skill. Okay, let's do it. Charge up here. Hey, where are the enemies at? They always spawn here. Go, go for crits, go for crits. Thank you, go down. Get right up on top of them, so that way if they if they blast my shield, the spike shield will, will kill them. Got another green power up. Uh do I use it? Yeah, I've got six more enemies to kill. Let's just let's just grab it. One shot him. One shot him. Grab that shield. I'm gonna be equipping that here in a second. Easy round. One more kill to grab. Okay. Now we can just farm up a little bit. More singularities. It's been all singularity grenades. Interesting. Muy interesante. Do a quick quick scans. Quick scans. Stage one can be the one that takes the absolute longest. So, or tier one, I should, I should say. Okay, a bandit launcher. This Vladoff has done good work for me, but it's time to swap it up. Okay, yippee ki -yay. Two grenades. And we keep it moving down this middle tree. 
let's go ahead and slap on this adaptive shield and drop both these skins that we just somehow get over time. Both these shields, both these class mods. And all these weapons can go now. Ooh, that's just that's a nice it's a nice pistol, but the one I've got right now is just doing more work for me. Pitchfork can come in. Good work, good work. Okay. Good stuff. Let's go next. I would say that the pitchfork might be a better overall option for us, but if we keep getting these areas that have flesh enemies, then we want to stick with the flesh flesh damage pistol. You do need something for power piece, so let's take that. Go down. I got Ipikaye, which is going to increase the amount of uh, guns or duration I have. There we go. Plus a grenade down. The fire burst grenade, so this will be pretty pretty helpful at destroying these enemies. What I wish I had is a, a transfusion grenade. Oh, there's health right there. I shouldn't I shouldn't be in danger here. Should be absolutely fine. Okay, thank you. Give me that health. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. Destroy shield. Toss a toss a uh a, a fire burst grenade. Sorry, try to rinse some crits if I can. Okay, got him. Danger, danger, but we are alive. Nice. Yeah, the Gunzerker is the only class in the game that you could really just like run around like a madman like I am currently. And get away with it. Let's see, fight for my lifetime. Shotgun max ammo. Don't need that. Okay. Mm, what you got for me? Sticky homing transfusion. It's got 2.8 second fuse time and it's homing, but it's it's better than nothing, I would say. We want that transfusion. A longbow slag transfusion with a 0, 0.0 second fuse time is the one we absolutely want. Uh -huh. got for me in here tdr launcher that's it i'll take the grenades and move on all right our action skills are already back that's good pop that pop that and enter the dps mode don't go invisible i don't want to get soft lock here nice okay he goes down what did you grab me that is what i am talking about that's what i'm talking about finally I finally got a grog nozzle. Early on, I can just run out the whole game. That's an absolutely huge get. Oh, is that a nice transfusion too? A lot. That's a much better transfusion grenade. That's a better adaptive shield. Starting to make sense. It's starting to all come together already. Very sick. All right, let's take this. We officially have ourselves our new. Go to uh, offhand weapon. Miss Moxie's grog nozzle. Huge. Very sick. Now we just need to get the supporting pieces. We could go. I want to try to see. Does the pitchfork. If I gun zerk the pitchfork, will it be fully automatic? No, it won't be. So I have to fire like. I have to fire at semi-automatic, which isn't the worst, like, the biggest deal in the world. It's just that I would rather not have to. Oh, that's, there's my, that's my cheat menu. <laughs> okay. Let's run it. All right, so we hold down the trigger, and we just shoot the pitchfork as quickly as we can. Where is the... Where's the real one? Is, is this one? Yeah, it's this one right here. Rinse him with crits. Come on, go down, homie. The, the amount of damage we have now is ridiculous. Good. Keep it up, keep it up. Good. Okay, there's one down. And because of my pitchfork is not elemental, it works against every boss, so... This guy that he resists shock, so 
I don't I don't need to use shock against them. Look at that damage. Oh yeah. Give me that early grog, brother. Okay. Right back into Gunzer. Good. Good work, good work. Get me over there. I'm so slow. Uh, uh. Okay. Slag and bag now. Pitchfork plus B or pitchfork plus uh grog. The grog four combo. Pitchfork is just an insanely strong weapon. I, I've always found it to be insanely strong. Multiple pellet sniper rifle. It's like a sandhawk. It basically is the sandhawk. Alright. Wow, a ruby too. Oh my goodness. Okay. We could go tidal wave. And, oh my gosh. Is that a matching grip quad? No, it's a TDR grip. But the Hyperion stock is kind of nutty. Okay, so let's try something here. Let's go. We have a slag ruby. I've never I've never had so much luck in my life. What if we went these for our weapons? I just, oh, what is that? That's a unicorn explosion, too. Holy cow. Okay, well, let's go unicorn explosion. Plus grog nozzle. We're, we're tying Tina out of our gourd now, for sure. Okay. Looking pretty strong. Let's take some points in defense just real fast. There we go. Now we're looking pretty thick with it. What is that? Room cleaner. My only fear... My only fear is that not having rocket launchers is going to be really, really bad. But with the deputy's badge, I mean, will it really matter? I don't know. Let's increase... Let's, our gear is strong. We don't necessarily need a lot of gear, but we probably do want is max shotgun blammo. Hmm. I will take sniper. Okay, so. I'm nervous about not having a launcher. I am. Maybe later on we can rock this setup. But I'm thinking like having two different having two different setups I can just scroll between. Oh yeah. Well I mean, launcher's not gonna help us here anyway. Um I think Let's see what we can do for this fight. Let's slap on the deputy's badge. Alright, Grog nozzle me. That's not bad damage at all. Okay. I don't I still want to get blown up by my own by my own shotgun. It's the only it's the only thing. It's crazy how the guy's still alive. Okay, there we go. The accuracy on this thing is pretty atrocious. Okay, go down. Okay, his shield's up now. So, like, I can swap over to something like this. Oh, hey. I need to make sure that these are... I shouldn't have work like that. Okay. I'm, just, I'm nervous about that right there. How the reflect damage can, can kill me. Okay. Let's swap back. It, it, it's crazy how that's working right now. I, the, the swaps, the swap, swap stuff is a little bit annoying. What I could do is to only run three weapons and maybe a a rocket launcher like this. This should be fine. Let's not get too cute with it. He goes, keep scrolling to my right. Insight is really helping against this boss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Grog. The, the Grog explosion build. Or the, the, the Unigrog build. Oh, the Unigrog. That's the name of the build. Yeah, we're going to rinse this. I think we might be able to rinse this whole game now. In tier 1. We got it all in tier 1, too. Crazy how the game gave me a slag ruby... A slag ruby and a grog nozzle in the very beginning. Oh, multiple horses? Okay, be careful. 
Multiple horses is good, but it can kill me pretty quickly. Okay, our ammo is still strong. We go. Kill some robots. Okay, go. I don't like doubling back, but we're okay. We're okay. Okay. Keep it going. Left. There we go. As long as I stay a little bit further back, I don't think my, my unicorns will kill me. Good. Getting unicorn explosions is just a crazy get. And I can increase its damage with extra grenade damage. Sal has synergies with uh, splash damage weapons. Not as much as Action or Krieg, but he does have some. Alright, should be my last go around. You're gone. Keep holding on those triggers. One minute at a time. Okay, that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Now it's just me and you, homie. If I can get multiple unicorns to, to go out, this guy should be toast. We don't have money shot yet, so if you're wondering where the damage is at, no money shot quite yet. But we have the setup ready. Good work. Gotta be careful. Keep guns working, no matter what. Every time it's up, just go right back into it. Not a bad kill. Super simple. Back it on up. There we go, he goes down. Track, track the gear. We are looking for a better grenade. What is that? Slag, nasty surprise. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. A, oh, antagonist. I was going to say, the one thing that we could maybe use here is an antagonist. But we'll, honestly, do we really even need the antagonist? We're slagging everything anyways. Hmm... I'm not so sure if I really, really need it. Just give me that iridium for now. What I would like to go do is get to Tarantina's Salt on Dragon's Keep and get myself a, a different class mod. What is that bad, Larry? That storm? I don't like it. I'm going to stick with what I got. Okay, what's over there? Did I check that out? Yeah, it's the, it's the nasty surprise. Okay. Very sick. Looking absolutely powerful. This this run is feeling strong already. Feeling good already. Okay. Use the grog. Unicorn explosion should get us there. And we have options. If we run into something like an Assassin Oni or Cromorax, we we have options to swap to. A pitchfork, we got a quad. Looking strong. Okay, how is that um, compared to my other one? Reload speed is out of this world large, but the damage is much, much higher. Let's take it. Mm. Yeah, I think we're fine. Absolutely fine. Oh, we got that we got that grog that grognos happening right now. Yeah, we're gonna be a little bit drunk playing it. That is okay. This is probably like the best build I could have asked for. I know the quad is you no know, probably better, but I just prefer to hold down both triggers, you know? It's just my play style. I, I like to hold down both triggers more than I like to more than I like to do it any other way. If I come across a constructor, I'm going to swap to like a pitchfork or something. Go. And once we get money shot going, we'll be we'll be just really cruising for a bruising. Oh yeah, it's all it's all unicorns and rainbows now. Being able to hit flying enemies is going to be a little bit tough, but completely fine. Deputy's badge helping out quite a bit as well. 
Oh my gosh, multiple unicorns. Holy. Yeah, this this is definitely the run. But yeah, Sal's definitely... I mean, at first I thought it was, you know, Sal not being just good in Roguelands, but... Over time I realized that it was just me being bad at the game and Sal's actually just broken. Then again, I haven't... I, you don't always get, you know, the Grog Nozzle. Here we go. Shoot that up there. That will open up this gate. Like I said, shoot that up there and it will open up the gate. Oh, I need to shoot the barrel. That's what it is. There we go. Open up, bad boy. I don't really see anything out damaging what I got now. Extra shot chance? No. I mean, it'll be good on something that isn't a shotgun, though. Looking strong. All right, let's go locked and loaded. Quick draw. And the faster we get on the money shot, the stronger we will be. Let's see. We take shock damage in case we need it. Because if we get Chrom Racks, we're going to want to use a shock damage weapon. All right, this is my best chance to get Tiny Tina's class mods. This is an absolute phenomenal get. Phenomenal get. Okay. No way they survive the, the onslaught of the unicorn, of the grog, or the uni, uni, the unigrog combo. Whoa, Mimic. What up, homie? Thanks for showing your face. Go down. Don't put me down. Okay. Where's my loot? I cannot believe that Mimic took up my chance to get a, a Tiny Tina class mod. That's just the way she goes sometimes. Ooh. Dwarf Warmongers. I think these enemies are really fun. Oh, yeah. Yes, class mods. Okay, there's a lot of monk class mods here. I'm going to look at them individually. To see which one I, I want to use. Okay, I don't have... I do not have my Grog Nozzle. we got to be careful here just for a second. There we go. Now we go back into... Back in the damage. Go down, go down. Thank you. And once we get money shot going, oh my gosh, the screen pollution. Oh. Th none of those class mods were absolutely perfect. Um, I didn't see anyone that was really standing out to me as like 100% what I'm looking for. Let's see. The most I have in money shot is this one. Crit damage and max size. Yeah, plus four. Reload speed and fire rate. Reload speed and mag size. Plus five and money shot is very strong. I think. Hmm. I think. Once I start going down this right side tree, it'll be really, really strong. But I don't... Will I ever get down to this? Probably not. What does my... What does my class one right now give me? Cooldown, fire rate, melee damage. I think... The neutral good will out deeps. I think it'll out deeps. Let's just do it. Let's have some fun with it. Okay. Grab this. We can always get a better deputy's badge. They fall down to the abyss. Where'd they go? Let's see. No, they didn't fall down to the abyss. We're good. Oh, wait, here they are. There's one. I'm going to keep opening chests. Even though I did get a pretty lucky draw already. Okay. A chaotic. I'm looking for something with plus six money shots. That's like the big. That's the big lad. Got a feeling. Mimic? Nope. Nice looking shotgun right there, but.
No class mods. I think that's my last pull. Yeah. Okay, so we do have a... A... A decent... A decent uh, class mod here. Is it... Is it fire rate and reload speed? What is it? Is it... It's reload speed and max size. Okay. We do have a lot of... A lot of... Uh, you know, ammo control. Oh, I'm, I lost a lot of fire rate, though. I lost a lot of fire rate. Do I need it? Is the question. I'm not too sure. I don't think this, I don't think this does self damage. Yo, the unicorn explosion doesn't do self damage. That's actually kind of insane. I can go right up on people. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful carnage. Holy cow. It's like playing Moe's all over again. Wow. That is... That's... That's over... That's it's just insane. Okay, let's take more money shots. We can get more fire rate. Gunzerk one fight for my life is very useful. Auto loader, useful as well. Let's do... Let's do... Divergent likeness. Because I, I kind of want that better accuracy. The one thing about the Unicorn explosion right now is it's kind of all over the place. I see the plus six money shot, but... It's just not going to be nearly as good. I maybe should have taken one with the plus five. Was there a plus five money shot one that had fire rate? Maybe there was. Let's just keep it moving on. I, it's, it's tough for me to know which is actually the better class mod, personally. It, it's tough. They're both just so good. Go down. Oh, what is that? Oh, we don't really need that. We can use it next round. We'll come back for it. Look, our fire rate after, late, after one kill is, is pretty nice. Anyways... As long as we don't accidentally blow up, you know, something that takes us down. Do we shoot banjos? Hmm. I don't think we need to. Nothing. I don't think there's anything in those in the in the banjos that'll necessarily help us. But you know what? Let's just do it anyways. Go. Sorry to that rat chest. I, I mean, when I come back down, maybe I'll grab it. Right, go up here. Good. But the one thing about the Unicorn Explosion I'm really liking is the fact that it doesn't do self-damage. Nice. The fact that that doesn't do self- The fact that it doesn't do self-damage is insanely good for me. Okay. That can just, just absolutely open up on these lads. Okay. Yeah, it takes a while for me to actually get to to money shot with this with this style build. I'm nervous about Spike Go though. They still haven't seen him. I do not want to get soft locked by Spike Go. Where are you at, homie? He likes to he likes to hide places. This is the this the zone can be a little bit buggy. Where are you? Come on, come on from hiding. Holy. He's he's around, right? Surely. I don't see him. No. Please spawn in. This is not good. I usually I usually throw homing grenades around. It it is a fan made mod. It's not going to be perfect. Oh, there he is. Okay, I see you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow, he was hiding out. He must have known I had a unicorn explosion. Yeah, so powerful the game. The the, the enemy started hiding from me. Okay. The closer I get, the more powerful I will be. 
see you later, Spiko. Okay. Not bad, not bad. But he does like to send the loot absolutely flying. Orphan Maker. Mm. It is good. It is good. Maybe we... But you have to put it in your... You have to put it into your... Left hand. It's like you swap these, maybe. And you go Orphan Maker. Like this. Maybe it could be worth it. I'm just happy I didn't get soft locked. Let's see. Absorb Shield. Looking for is... That's a lob slag transfusion. I don't need, need it to be slag. What I really just needed to do is... Um, what I really need to do is just... Blow up faster. That's the only thing. Let's hop down here. Open up this last red chest. Grab that green power up and then make a move on. Or get a move on. Okay. But th I finally got my, my synergy with... I finally got my synergy with grenades. This this skill increases grenade damage, and we get it while we're gun zerking. Okay. Well, I might orphan maker just for a little bit, just to, just to try it out. One grab. I don't. I want to. I want to try it out here against this boss, just for a bit. Okay. Oh my. Nice. Wow. That seemed pretty good. Okay. And if you put it in your offhand, it doesn't damage you. Another Orphan Maker with higher damage and fire rate. Come on if I do. Magic Missile, I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous about it putting me down. I don't really want to use it because it can definitely kill me. I'm going to be playing at point blank range. So, which one of these is the better one? The bottom one is better. Right? Yeah, the bottom one is definitely better. Okay, so let's drop it and let's put it on the grog nozzle. Just to make sure. Because sometimes it's hard for me to understand the, the there we go. Yeah, yeah. It's tough for me to do, but I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the magic missile there. I I just I don't need it for this run. Okay, no kill like overkill. And I I honestly think Heading into this side of the skill tree is nice. Let's take insight. Keep moving. Asbestos is really good against dragons because it reduces the amount of time that da damage over time effects are on you. So, I, do I really need more gear? Not really, but... Chain lightning? That's a grenade I can get behind. Perfect. I don't need anything else. I'm calling it right now. I don't need anything else. Let's just, let's just keep going. All right, Tara, let's go. I'm good. As long as Tara does not knock me off the map, I'm chilling. Fresh like a villain. Okay. Let's do it. Now, the healing from the Grog does apply, uh, even if it's in my ma even if it's in my main hand. Just good. Okay, let's make sure my back's against this. Here we go. Land crits. Money shot crits. Nice. Terra's gonna go down pretty quick here. We haven't gotten that many money shot chains. Come on, homie. Where you at? There we go. Down goes Terra. 
Uh, evolution shield, I think that is definitely going to be better. Much, much better than what I was using before. And a rubberized slag crossfire. That's pretty good, too. Let's take insight. Oh, I don't have any more points. Let's just keep moving, then. And we got a nice, easy puzzle, too. I don't have to do anything stupid. Nice. This is going to be probably my... Oh, wow. I'm, I called it a nice, easy puzzle, and I just completely fell off the edge. As long as... At least it doesn't kill you. That would have been really sad. Up. Oh. Last jump. Very sick. Uh, do we go Orphan Maker or Unicorn Explosion? Honestly... Like, there... There's so many strong guns now. Oh, I got... I had... I got this, this lame gun on here now. Okay. Pistol damage? No. We, again, we have the Deputy's... Deputy Sal build kind of rocking. I can go back to Unicorn Explosion at any time, realistically, but... We got our two raid bosses out of the way. We didn't have to fight Kra either. Okay, now... This is a, this is essentially a, a raid boss area because of that stupid... Um, constructor that can that can one shot you. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, back up. I'm fine. I'm actually gonna sprint down here as quickly as I possibly can. That way, I can be right on top of this constructor when it spawns in. Good. Good. Okay, this time the constructor doesn't kill me. Nice. Things are looking good. Can be a little bit more accurate. Bull loader, huh? What I might do is... It's tough because... When I swap weapons now, it won't... What I might do is... Put on the ruby, left hand, unicorn explosion, right hand. So if I come across someone like, like a bowl loader, like this guy right here, right? Um, that's hard to kill, or like a Doc Mercy or something like that. Hey, relax, brother. I can, I can just swap down. The problem is I'm having trouble with weapons swapping to the right spots. That is just, it's just strange how these two are not the two that are, it says these two are linked, but they're not currently. Look at that. See that? That's crazy. Like I, I do definitely have problems with the different guns and, and which ones are supposed to be equipped, which ones are not. All right, asbestos is strong. Let's take it. And we're moving on. Uh, let's go. Let's keep up the damage with the Orphan Maker. This is this is the way Borderlands is meant to be played, right here. This is border. This is actually like this is peak strength Borderlands too. This is Deputy Sal build, and in all its glory, it's one shotting enemies tier three, basically OP ten. Us. We can just move out on. There's no reason to belabor the point. Let's just keep moving. Kill these dragons. As long as we don't make any stupid mistakes. We should be fine. Asbestos. Fire rate with, um... Fire rate with all guns is, is okay. Not that I think that that matters that much. Alright, you open up. Good. Bow loaders. Go down, homie. If I hold down the main trigger and I tap the left trigger, that's it's a little bit different for me to get used to, but the damage is ridiculous, and the money shot satisfaction is out of this world. Come on, land the shots, brother. Thank you. 
Okay. Don't die. Don't, don't, don't kill yourself like that. Go. Back to full. Uh oh. Back off. Back up to full every time. Every time I shoot the sword from Maker, it's back up to full. Oh my gosh. Get, get blasted. But, anyways, I started blasting. Oh, man. Jeez. And my my guns are comes right back up off cooldown. As you can see, my bottom and the bottom part of the screen on the very left, you can see that my piping hot. This skill right here is active. Uh while I'm gun zerking, which is crazy talk. Just absolutely crazy talk. Um I'll put some points. I think this will be good. I can always respect it to, to better, you know, to use my points up a little bit better, but I feel confident. It's a nice Druk, but we're on a different track right now. Sorry to that Druk. It's time. Good. Where the hell are these enemies at? Are you already opening up, huh? You finally decided. Let's go. Hey, don't hit me. Make sure I land my shots. As long as, my, as long as I land my shots, I'll be absolutely fine. Huge. Okay. What you drop me? An octo? No thanks, homie. We've hit. We've hit peak. Peak Sal. Ooh, legendary Gunzerker class mods. Nah, I'm good without him, I think. I think this this neutral monk. If, if if the only thing that we could get that's that's better is a chaotic evil monk, I think. Okay. Yeah, the one skill I probably don't need is uh increased fire rate with all gun types while my shields are depleted, but other than that. End of the line. For me or for you, homie? Good. Destroy that surveyor. Go for crits. He's, he just keeps knocking me away. Yeah, look at that. Look at that spin attack he's got going. Oh, now, now we're drunk. Huge. See you later. What you got for me? Slayer of Terror Morphous class mod? No thanks, homie. Good. Let's see. Shred of Fire, Nasty Surprise, Legendary Berserker. Okay. It is time. Let's fight some dragons. I'll collect my reward first. Of course, of course. Basically, GG's at this point. Okay, let's make sure that our grenades are capped out. Okay. And I think a respec is in order, just real fast, because we don't need as many kill skills now. So inconceivable. And we're going to take... Build to the brim. Five or six shots don't need. You need that. Oh, I just took a point that I don't need. Let's make sure we respec. Only take the skills that we need. One. One. Okay. I might have overdone it a little bit there. But we don't need to get down to this skill at all. Let's do... Reloading increases your fire rate for a short time. I think it's okay to take. We just need to get down the money shot. Okay, now I like to go defense from this point forward. Let's see. Gun, gun zerking, let's get, get health. Gun zerking, give me movement speed. Good. Three points. I could... Hmm. This just doesn't... This just doesn't last very long, this... this. 
skill here. And in fact, I think the one thing that could kill us is not having our Gunzerk available. So we're going to be regening a ton of HP now. I guess auto loader. Or divergent likeness. Let's just do it. Let's go kill some dragons. I don't think we'll have a problem. If we do die, then, then it's my own fault. Let's go. Alright, let's go get a defense shrine. Let's bring the blue lad down first. Did I, did I hit him? I hope I did. At this point, I really hope I did. Yep, let's go. Come on now, go down. Good. Blue is going down pretty quickly. Good stuff. Good, 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 good. Now... Do we want to come down? Let's do let's do green if we can. Guns, so guns, just toss toss out grenades this whole time. Watch my HP, toss out grenades. Watch my HP, toss out grenades. Good. Stay alive. Just stay alive. Keep it moving. Stay alive. Now we can go back to our regularly scheduled programming of max DPS. Land those crits. There we go. Um, purple, if you don't mind. I think I want to kill you next. I have I have the lads I can kill here. So, if I do go down, it's okay. There we go. And now, Mr. Red, if, if you wouldn't mind coming down here. You go into your defense mode while my Gunzerk is cooling down. Okay. Once your defense mode is over, I will have my guns work up, and we'll we'll hash it out from there. Just like, just like I said. Please get away from me, you guys. I, I just need you for later, not for right now. Good. Yeah, I mean, we knew for a while now how this was going to end. Woo! Yes! A solid Roguelands victory on Salvador. Orphan Maker. I, I wanted to try it out because that's, that's, the, that's the one build everyone seems to run. It's like you get the Orphan Maker, you get a Grog Nozzle, and I, I, it's my turn to, to try it out. Wow. That is a... That's a build and a half right there. I mean, that is pretty much invincible so much damage with the extra money shots just just wow just just incredible stuff thank you absolute beat down of a run gg all right that's gonna be it for this video thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe to see more videos like this one and i'll see you all in the next one bye